Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe I should turn it this way. Yeah. Maybe I should put it out. I'm in my son's bunk bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe I should move to a different spot. Uh, Maybe in. I guess it really doesn't matter, huh? No, oh, man. You're good, dude. If you're comfortable. <laughs> How are you, man? You look great, dude. Yeah, I'm chilling, dude. I'm feeling good, man. You too, man. What's up, man? You don't look that tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because uh, I just saw my face in like uh, the little FaceTime video, and I was like, "Damn, I'm looking old. Like it's finally happening. 55. It's finally kicking in." Man, oh man, come on, dude. I just turned 46. I look older than you, man. I, don't care, man. <laughs> I cut my hair. You, I'm just sure if I let my hair grow out all the gray, you would see it. Yeah, dude. Look, man. This morning, I literally just cut my hair this morning, and I was like, man, I was like cutting. I got it because I had it a little, little out. I was like, man, I almost, dude, I almost went there, man. This morning, <laughs> literally, I was just like, man, I, I, I think I'm gonna do it, man. So, so baby steps, you know. My wife does it. She's like, it's time to cut that hair. I'm like, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, it man, don't don't let me grow this out. It's all white. All white. I would look so old. I, I would love it if it went all white. If I just yeah. went so, – then you look badass, you know? Yeah, yeah. But with, like, the, you know, the salt and pepper thing isn't – What you And do? mine doesn't – my 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 hair is, like – scraggly it doesn't you know so yeah, yeah. wham 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 these kids are <laughs> they work on aging my ass dude <laughs> i look in the mirror sometimes i'm like well it was a good run yeah nah, dude. no but you, you know it you know what it is man when when you like look at you see like some old photos of yourself you know and then you like look look at some new joints you know i'm like oh yep no nah, that <laughs> it didn't seem like that long ago it's usually the opposite for me. People tell me, oh, my God, I see photos of you in your 30s and 40s. You look younger now. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, man. whatever, man. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, dude, for real, man, for real. Yeah, man. So, so you, uh, you getting any rest, dude? They, they just they – just... <laughs> And people are like – so you get you writing a bunch of new stuff and you know, can you do my podcast or can you put the bass the, some bass on this track? I'm like, y'all, you don't even know. I, I, yeah, I got a two year old and a five year old. <laughs> like, I don't. I just man, by the time like seven p.m. gets here, me and my wife both are like, okay, y'all, get in the bathtub. We get these guys ready for bed. You know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's all good though, but it's my favorite thing. Like, oh yeah, you know, man. Oh, I'd much yeah. rather be, you know, playing with them in the pool or whatever. You know, just yeah. they're my fun thing. You know, and if I didn't have them, I'm sure I would be writing a lot and recording, oh, yeah. practicing. Yeah, nah. I mean, it's kind of funny, man. It's like it's it's a little different because, well, obviously, like Kaylin and Lila are older, but man, yeah. like I've been like. I've been just having so much fun. Well, and Kalen's home from, he's obviously not in school, you know, like he, yeah. so he was actually down in Florida, man, for um, spring training right before, huh? like a couple of weeks ago, right before all this. Wow. And then they started to find out like, oh, well, um, school's going to be out for, you know, all this stuff got to start happening, you know? And so then he found yeah. out the baseball season's canceled for the year and all this. But anyway, so he's home. And it's like, man, I've actually been having so much fun hanging out with them. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. just like we're all yeah. here together, you know? So, I, yeah, I could, like, at, like the other day, oh, yesterday I went to the studio, actually. And, man, it was, like, hard for me to, like, get the motivation up to go there, you know? Because I was just like, man, you know, I just kind of wanted to just chill, you know? So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm in, like, in the same mode, man. I, like, I feel like I want to write some stuff. I want to do all this, but. I'm just enjoying just like spending time with a man, you know, just kicking it. You know, I always like people that are scared to make a big change in life. I go, 
<clears throat> what if you knew you only had two years to live or a year right. or six months? Like, what would you do? I know it's not really a fair question, but yeah, just yeah. hypothetically, if you yeah. had two years to live, would you quit that job? Would you stay in that job and make it work? Would you quit that relationship or would you make that relationship work? Like it just, it brings a clarity and it's like, okay, well, if it's going to be the end of the world, I'm going to hang with my kids and my wife. Like that. I feel yeah. zero guilt, man. Zero. Yeah. I just, they're, as long as they're healthy, uh, and we're having a great time. It's hard, man. It's hard them not being at school. We can't have sitters over because Jess and I both got sick. Mm-hmm. We're both better. Both kids got sick. They're both better. Yeah. But, you know, I can't have babysitters. Our babysitters are either taking care of an elderly parent or spouse. Yeah. Um, so until we're, I don't know what the time limit is, like, where you're not contagious anymore but until that happens yeah we're just you know sweating it but it's really great too it's hard and i think maybe we're meant to do it you know and uh so i'm just enjoying it and yeah man, yeah, man. i mean know. i've been i have been, i've been obviously a lot of people are going some through some crazy stuff you know and like yeah. I, i've been like for when this all first started popping off man i was like watching the news a lot you know just like yeah and then at one point I was like, you know what? I have to like chill. I was like, you know, if something really crazy is going down, like my phone, my phone will let me know. Like, either, it will. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, man, let me get my head out of this and just kind of try and focus on some other things, man. But the thing I really, I'm hoping, well, no, it's, I mean, the world is going to be different. The world's already different because of this and it's going it to be going back. No. I heard oil companies might go out of business. Like, can you imagine mm. somebody saying like Exxon would go out of business? Like you can't even conceive of that. Yeah. But I don't think things are going to be the same ever again. No, nah, man. They, 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 they shouldn't be, you know, they shouldn't have been a long time. We should have changed a long time ago, but you know, God put everybody in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's like, man, you you know, it's like, how how are you going to react to it? How are you going to change? You know, it's like, how are you going to adapt? You know, and I'm not fighting. You know, it's like whether you, it's like you either fight it or you don't, you know, it's like. My thing is we did, we got here before this system existed, before there were central banks and yeah. Republican democracies and, you know, uh, before any of this you know we used to make stuff and do stuff and Mm -hmm. i think it's a good time for people to uh like hey if you're one of those people that hated your job which most of the people i don't know if i could say hate but they'd rather do something else well guess what (laughs) you know and if the whole thing crumbles we can do stuff and make stuff and help each other like we did to get us to this point to even have this system and we just need to get back to it exactly and i just hope we do that instead of turning on each other yeah you know? yeah man it's funny i always bring up this this example and it's kind of funny but i don't know if you ever saw the movie um star trek star trek first contact it's like yeah i was a big trekkie Okay, man. So that's the one with Alfre Woodard was in it. And that's like when, you know, they made first contact when they brought her up on the ship and she's like, look around. She's like, man, well, who paid for all this? You know? And Jean-Luc Picard was just like, you know, there's no, there's no money. And, you know, in the, in the future, you know, there's like, we all do this for the, you know, the pursuit of, you know, in, in, uh, you know, all of mankind is working, you know, for, and it's just kind of funny, man, when you think about we're not getting there yet. We're far from that, you know. But I, I don't think we're that far. Well, you yeah, with the AI scientists, they're like, "Look, yeah. AI is going to make everything so cheap." Yeah, I saw another guy talking about this, but he wasn't an AI scientist. He's more of an economic guy, but he's saying the exact same thing that Ben Gertzel said. It was like, "We're going to experience massive deflation because AI will make everything so cheap to do that you can't, it might as well be free. So he's like, you might as well give people a universal basic income. And then like, you could still 
compete if you want to compete just because we have it in our nature to compete. Mm -hmm. But we'll be working people like me work best off inspiration, not like I got to embrace the hustle. I'm like, fuck the hustle. I don't want to hustle. I don't want to work. I don't like work. Right. Now, when I am inspired, I'll work 14 hour days in the studio. Yeah, exactly. Hunger. Yeah. So it's not like I hate work. I hate the concept mm -hmm. of work, not actual work. You know, I, I like mowing grass and stuff, but you know, yeah, yeah, like, uh, I think if we can get, I think we will get to this Star Trek. We're like AI is advancing exponentially and it may be sooner than you think, man. Like, <laughs> and I say, bring it on. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I'm, I, we don't I, need I, oil. We don't need coal. Mm. We don't, the sun produces you know, there's like a, you could take a little teeny section of the Sahara Desert and it can power the entire globe. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, right, you know? Yeah, exactly, man. So maybe, uh, we don't know, Hoover, but I, I'm with you, man. I've been thinking about Star Trek and that whole concept about, like, you know, we just find out what we're inspired by. That's how I'm raising my kids. I just want to see what inspires them. Yeah, man, exactly, man. And fan the flames and do that because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you know, some job like <laughs> yeah yep dude it's it's funny man and that's like you know like we've been like it's interesting with Kalen being in this freshman year of, of college man he's already he's he's on that trip man like he's like he's in school he's studying um exercise science yeah and but his whole trip is man he doesn't he does he just wants to make and this is him He's saying, I just want to make enough money to to do what I love to do. You know what I mean? He likes to be outside. He loves exercise. And, like, he doesn't want to be a part of the hustle, man. He doesn't yeah. He doesn't need the, like, the, the house with the six-car garage and all this kind of yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, so yeah. I'm, I'm proud of him, man. You know, he, he's, he's um, but I think, you know, but he obviously sees what Kim and I do. You know what I'm saying? The how yeah. we live. You know, he grew up in that. You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, we, you know we don't the, the the great thing what I, I love about what we do man is like man any given day and it, the funny thing is it's not that much different than what we do right now but before all this you know we could we could go out on a walk at like two in the afternoon on a tuesday you know what i'm saying and just and go hang out go do things while other people are just like you know i'm not taking anything away from what other people are doing but you know i, I we definitely created a life in that the, the our time is more important than the money that we you know i've been saying that for like probably 10 years now i was hitting 50 mm -hmm. or actually even hitting 40 but at a certain point you realize time is is more valuable to you than money because i've seen people lose all their money and get all of it back and more it, right but time you know, I mean, I believe in that we don't die and cease to exist, but still, as far as this body here right now with my wife and children, yeah. that's the one thing I can't get back. Exactly, man. So it's, it's priceless. Yeah, man. I mean, it's definitely, you, you have a different focus, man, when you, when you realize, and I'm comfortable with this, but when you realize that you have more, you know, you have less days that you're waking up than you had, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what I, at 50, I was like, Okay, so half the sands of my hourglass are in the bottom, mm -hmm. and that thing's trickling. Yep. Steady. Yep. So I was just like, yeah, you know, I'll stay home rather than go all the way somewhere to do that gig because, <laughs> you know, I'd rather be <laughs> – I'm going to miss that time with Nigel's five, Kavi's two. Yeah. Like, I might get that back, and I've, I've seen everything. I've seen Nigel's first steps. I see Nigel tread water for the first time. Yeah. One of the funniest pictures I have is the first time I saw him pee and standing up. His little yeah. shorts were around his legs. He was a little butt. It's just from the back. But you know, yeah. like, you know, I just had to fight posting it. <laughs> Jeff was like, dude, he will hate you. He'll be so mad at you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm so glad I just didn't miss it. You know, and I've caught so many firsts, man. And I, I wouldn't trade them for any gig. I don't yeah. care how much money it was, man. Oh, man. So I'm really glad to hear Kalen and, and you guys have encouraged that and it's taken because I really think, 
you know, it's one of that guy who wrote Sex at Dawn. Um, I saw him on a podcast and he was talking about he went and studied these hunter gatherer cultures that are currently still doing that. He's like, dude, they work like maximum like 20 hours a week they like to spend most of their time chilling with each other everybody's provided now granted it's different you know they're usually the group tops out like 150 right right, right. everybody knows everybody you know but mm-hmm. it's not there's no rat race you know and, and we've made it into a religion embrace the hustle i'm like y'all got that yeah. first of all i'm tired I've yeah, been on the road for thirty. How I many years? You know, like Dude, come on, tired of hustling, man. Done. Man. So you check know. it, man. I was I was telling Kim recently, man. I was at a gig, and um, it was it was just a gig I was playing. You know, what I'm saying just have some fun or whatever. But I was like hanging out backstage, listening to the opening band. You know, and just like chilling there. And man, it just hit me, dude. It was like kind of late, late ish. We were going on later. I was like, you know, I was doing this literally in a club this size waiting to go on when I was like 14, 15 years old. <laughs> Me too, 15. I've been t- you know what I'm saying, man? And I was just sitting there. I was just like, dude, whatever cup, like I was trying to fill like back in the day with all these experience, you know, you're out there hustling. You're, I'm doing this and this and that. It's like, man, that cup is overflowing. And I just don't, I just don't have it. I, I, I was, I'm comfortable, man. I'm like, I just, I love playing music, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But man, I'm, I have no problem saying no now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, I, you know, after so many years, I'm, I'm sure many people have heard me say this, but I was like, the three things that I dislike the most is crowds, loud noise, and long distance travel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the business are you in? But it's because of the business. I, I've yeah. never liked crowds. Crowds have always bugged me out. People Yo. are stupid altogether in that many numbers. But, um, or they can. It can go wrong quick. But, you know, I'm a drummer. So obviously the loud noise, I used to love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that, you know, even playing drums in a little room I ain't mean, as loud as like full PA and all, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but it's just like, it's okay that I'm, you know, over it or whatever. It doesn't mean I don't love to play. Like I would, if there was no, if we were in Star Trek, right. I'd be playing and cutting music, cutting tunes and I would not be on the road. I say I play. Yeah. I love to play. Mm -hmm. The road is work. Being (laughs) at a club starting at midnight, like, you know, of course, I go to bed at, like, 7.38 now. Yeah. So I'm on a different schedule. But that's work. Yeah, man. I love the two hours of playing is my reward or three or four, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which band it is. But yeah. that's my reward for all the other part. But, man, the other part, I start to hate it more and more and more. Yeah, man. Like, well, I was relieved when all my – I shouldn't even say I was relieved when I, my gigs got canceled. But it was the flying. It's not the gigs, but all the flying and all that stuff. And I'm like, man, I want to be a plane with coronavirus crisscrossing the country, a plane after plane. I was like, no, nah, man. Mm-hmm. I told my manager, I'm like, I'm a team player, bro, but it's going to be hard to be legal. <laughs> After yeah. I get back from New York, you know, we did that brother's gig yeah, in Madison yeah. Square Garden. Yeah. And then I was like, man, we got to get out of here. Dude. I'm going home. <laughs> you know? I know, dude. I know, man. Man, I, I, the funny thing is, man, I was actually talking to a, um, a, a friend of mine who, who records at the studio, you know, a bunch. And he was, and I was, on, I was leaving the studio. I was like, hey, man, where are you going? On? What's going on? He's like, oh, I'm driving back from New York. I, I was at the, uh, at the Almonds, you know, the, the Brothers show or whatever. I was like, yeah. Wow, man! I was like, for real, and this was like, you know, man, that's it was going down. I was like, wow, these these dudes are hardcore, man. Dude, <laughs> one day, yeah. seriously, mm-hmm. one day later, I think that gig would have been canceled. Oh yeah, no, it would, no, it would have, man. Yeah, we did the last show there. I mean, it was just like, and you know, and Jess and I both got sick. I know a lot of people that got sick after that, and the Love Rocks thing. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Like it's um. It, I was like, we got to get out of here. You know, <laughs> when I heard, you know, we live in Florida mm-hmm. and I heard 
the day they put locked New York on lockdown, all the flights from New York to Florida filled up. I was like, no. <laughs> But, you know, I already got it. So I'm like, whatever, you know. Yeah, 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 man. We're, we're distancing anyway, but yeah, it's people, weird, man. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know, man. People are kind of acting a fool down in Florida, though, man. I said, dude, dude they they been, showing, showing video and photos of people on the beach. And stuff. I was like, yo, man. man. Florida's been stupid, dude. <laughs> I mean, you know, you hear this, uh, what is this show? Is it called Tiger King? Oh, everybody dude! Was yo, I just it. started watching that, man. Right? So I heard everybody talk about it, and you know, each of us will go to sleep with one of the kids. So I've got in bed with Nigel at night, and then when he falls asleep, I get up and yeah. go back to our room. And when I got back, Jess was watching episode two, and I was like, "Oh man, I heard about this way. Like, everybody's talking about Tiger King," and um. And one of the cats is like a Florida dude. And I was just like, and he's like picking up people that are, you know, destitute. Yeah. And, you know, they have like these little cults. And I was like, see, Jess, this is also America. Like we have this illusion of what America is on TV. Yeah. But I was like, think about this time that we're going into now. Like how easy it would be to like for all these little cults to spring up. Yeah, they're, they're here and we don't even really know it. Yeah, I'm like, this is America too. This wackadoodle, yeah, stuff, you yeah. know, yeah, like right around, you know, it ain't even <laughs> that, who knows how far it is from where we live, you know. Well, dude, that's, so I'm just you know, like, man, uh, we are we better have some supernatural help here because this yeah. is gonna get crazy. <laughs> 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 it's gonna get crazy. Yeah. Americans are crazy, bro. Oh yeah, man. Uh, no, no doubt about that, man. Yeah, Thank can... God, there's a lot. I know there's tons of well-meaning, sane people, and I hope that they, at least in a little bit, outnumber. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it's a trip, man. That show is like, wow. Dude. You live in a crazy country, dude. So, yeah, so, we went, so Kim went, went to bed, you know, one night, and I, I just like handling some stuff downstairs. I walked walked upstairs, you know, got in. I was like, she had turned it on, you know. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I do the first do the first five minutes. I was like, thank you so much, thank you. I was thinking, I was like, this is exactly like this is so bizarre. And she just it's like she just started laughing. She just turned over and went to sleep because she wasn't about to watch that mess, man. But she knew that like, <laughs> was my vibe, man. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Oh. I mean, I I didn't keep well, I had something, you know, that I was mm -hmm. into that on my little iPad or whatever. Yeah. But I kept looking up like, man, this is some crazy stuff. This this country is nuts, man. Yeah. It, the thing was, it was bugged out, they were talking about how many people in the country have big cats. You know what I mean? Like lions and yeah. tigers. And they were like, and sometimes they just like let them go. And you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, so Kim and I, we, you know, we go on the long walks. I, you know where we live, man. It's just like woods and all. Yeah, you know, I was like, starting to me thinking, I mean, there's like bear, you know, bear go walk out or like Kayla saw a moose the other day or whatever. But wow. I was like, man, you never know, man. Dude, moose are big. Yeah. Yo, are big. Dude. Yo, dude. So Kaylin came home from a walk. He was out and he shot the video. Man, I'll send it to you, man. It is so crazy. This moose got so close. I mean, probably he was probably about ten feet away. He's brave. Oh my god, I'm not that brave. Man. Wow, man, they're big, dude. Yeah, they yeah. are really big. And you know all the coyotes that are all over the country and man, like yeah, I didn't even think about that, man. That would be crazy to be in the woods and be like, is that? A a tiger? <laughs> like, where are you going to go? You can't go up a tree. You can't, <laughs> you can't like, I'll no. be like, am I looking at a tiger? Like, what? That's a, that's a wrap. Man, I think, honestly, dude, I think I would just, if I saw a tiger in the, man, I'm, man, I'm not going out like a punk, man. I'm just going to fight it, man. I'm going <laughs> after it. I mean, what are you going to do? Know, I'm not running, man. You know, like, you're going weird. down. You're going down. I'm not a gun owner. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I'm philosophically opposed to it. Like, yeah. you know, also I'm just scared. Like, I think my kids would find it and figure out how to, like, Kavi 
<laughs> knows how to get in our phones. Yeah. She's two, man. Yeah. Do, uh, man, I know. Like, and so I'm like, you know, it's not a good idea. Like, I just think it could go bad. Yeah. Uh, I had a gun in the past and I know how to shoot one and I'm a, actually a really good shot. Mm-hmm. But I just am not, I'm like, I don't want, it's kind of a, just a live by the sword, die by the sword. But yeah. now, you know, I'm like, I've been really questioning, like, man, you know, people are going to get weird. There might be a, a tiger. <laughs> I mean, we have, we have alligators here. I mean, oh. on the route that I bike every single morning, yeah yep you'll see uh you'll see a thing it'll be a sign you come up and it's like no small dog no dogs allowed especially no small dogs and then about 20 feet after that there's another sign it's alligators mouth I was like oh well that's why they don't want you on those small dogs. so we just you know we're it's jurassic down here and i just am like if i did run into a tiger that's a situation where i'd be like i kind of wish that i did just have a pistol man just one shot in the head and then I don't, you know, I don't have to like be mauled, even if I win. <laughs> so that's a good idea, I'm man. But that that tiger's ready to roll, man. Where's your gun at? It's like in your in your back, you know. By the time you get up, this yeah. <laughs> well, I really oh, hold up, hold up. I don't, I don't hang out in the woods. And shit either, you know, like I'm a city boy, man. You know, yeah. like I'm. Yeah. I think when we see a big iguana, I'm like, damn. <laughs> You know, and the gators, all these years that we've been biking, I never, I want to see one. You know, the only place they end up on is golf courses. Man, I, I, man, I was staying at a hotel down there years ago, man, in Florida, man. And, like, you know, they they were, like, in all, uh, like little bungalow-type deals, you know, like, yeah. behind the main building. So, you had to take these windy paths, and, you know, they were all nicely yeah. lit and all this. But they had, they had, warning, they had warning signs, man. And like, this kid got snatched at Disney. We were there with Nigel. That's before we got Kavi. Hmm. And, oh, man, it just did a number on our head. Because, you know, when you have kids yeah. and there's an Amber Alert, it's a different thing or a missing child. You know, it, it, it just is different, man. Nigel went missing. Uh, we took him. We took Kavi down the beach to do her first little photo shoot. She had never seen the ocean or sand or anything. Uh, and Nigel's doing that thing where I don't want to go that way. We're like, well, we're going this way. You know, now previously he was four at the time, I think. Mm-hmm. If we said, well, we're leaving you, he would you know, he'd get scared. Of but he got all bold and was like, well, I want to go this other way, you know. So, like, literally a minute or two later, I was like, I don't see him, Jess. I'm going to go look for him. Couldn't find him. Dude. Now, he's also in this phase where he liked to hide from us. Oh, so, I, I, could, yeah. I could be calling him. And he could see me and be 10 feet away, but then wouldn't say anything. Mm-hmm. Well, 15 minutes went by, and all of a sudden, my world was had turned to hell. Mm-hmm. And I called, I texted Jess. I was like, I still can't find him. Mm. And so then we, she went to the garden. We ended up finding, it was like 30 minutes later. He was freaked out. Now, we're at the beach. It's like five o'clock. Mm-hmm. So at five thirty, I think all the lifeguards are going, and then it's going to be dark. And you know, we know if you don't find your kid in the first forty-eight hours, like yeah. you can forget it, man. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, he freaked himself out so bad he went and on his own instinct went up to an older lady, an mm-hmm. old lady, and she took him to the guard shack. And I was walking up to that guard shack as I was texting Jess. Wow. And Chief hit me with the text. He's at guard shack number nine. And then, and he was so freaked out. So I immediately took him home. Mm -hmm. We got on the computer on the laptop and I showed him all these missing kids. And then I freaked out even more because so many of them were so much bigger than him. Like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like look like adults. Right. Wow. And, And so we don't have that problem anymore with him. He could barely speak. And I'll never forget, I said, what's mom's phone number? He's like, three, three. So, you know, he's like, yeah. but he got the whole phone number out. Man. And I was like, dude, you find somebody with a uniform or you go with somebody, you don't ever forget that phone number. Wow. You know, like he remembered that phone number. And mm-hmm. I was so glad. And 
So, you know, now he gets all crazy. I'm like, rule number one. He's like, family stays together. And he like reels it in because, wow. uh, you know, it's just such a thin line, man, where yeah, your world yeah, can man. just go straight to hell in five minutes. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? I couldn't yeah. believe it. It was such a eye-opening experience as a parent, you know? Yeah, man. Well, and my fault, you know? Like playing game, you know? We're going to leave you. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kim used to get so mad, though, man, because I'd be on the road. That <clears throat> Lila, would, Lila would be acting up. And when I was home, I, I would say, what, what was it? I was like, I'm going to count to three. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like, and I never, and the thing is, I never knew what, I never got to three, so I didn't know what I was going to say. I was, I, had, I didn't have to come up with something, but yeah, but I, I won two, and she was just like, you know, so Lila would be acting up while I was out on the road, you know, and, and Kim would get so mad. She would just have, she, 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 Lila was just not playing, you know, not, you know, not helping Kim out at all. And she said, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call dad. I'm gonna call, and that's all she had to say, you know, I'm a, you want me to call dad? And she, no, 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 she, you know. Isn't that funny? It was just the opposite. I came home from the road one time and Nigel's doing his normal thing and Jess goes five, four, and he just, she didn't even get to two. I was like, how did you do that? What is, she's like, I don't know what he thinks is going to happen, but yeah, she just like Jedi mind tricked him. I was like, and it still yeah. worked. Oh, man. Now I have pow pow behind it now. Yeah. Yo. But it was working before then. I was like, how did, yeah. what is it about counting that inspires terror man <laughs> i'll tell you this though man so one year kalen oh he was probably about 10 10 ish somewhere around there i can't remember but he had a mohawk i gave him a mohawk he wanted a mohawk right and he was <laughs> bad you know so i was away and he was acting up and kim was like if you you know if you don't stop i'm gonna cut i'm gonna cut that mohawk off you know like <laughs> and she did she <laughs> got the clippers out <laughs> Cut, cut that joint off. He was wrecked, man. He didn't, he didn't mess around after that, though. But <laughs> got it. Also, I said to Jeff, but you just gotta follow through once. Yeah, you know. Yeah, once. I was kind of mad uh, though, man, because that it looked good, man. I had, man, I, I hooked him up, man. <laughs> but, his hair probably grows fast, so he probably grew that back. Oh, yeah, away. yeah. But, but I hate, you know, she had to hate. She had to do what she had to do, you know. So. Yeah, you got to do it. It could be, it could save their life. Yeah. You yeah. know, these kids are, they don't know. Yeah. Nigel doesn't know. I thought, how are we, there must be guardian angels Man. because how do they survive? Yeah. So he spends half the day trying to kill himself and he gets exponentially smarter like every two weeks. Yeah. So how's he going to live? <laughs> how's he going to see? Even seven years old, you know. I'm telling. And you. I just think, wow, man, that's the grace of God. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I I feel, and it's done wonders for me as an adult. <clears throat> just like, you know, I'm a typical addict. You know, I have bad self image or whatever. But yeah. the fact that my kids are alive and healthy and they're happy, yeah. and I go, you know what? I'm a good dad. I can say that. Yeah, and dude. I, my wife says i'm a good husband Mm -hmm. and you know what i have that and that is more than enough yeah yeah sleep good at night man i don't have to be all inside my head i just be like yeah you can feel however you feel but you know what your kids love you they're healthy and they're super happy and your wife loves you and she's healthy and super happy there you go now i'm healthy and super happy and mm-hmm. it, it's, it took me till my 40s, man, to get there. To, to my 40s. Isn't that funny, you know? though? It's so simple. Isn't it, it is, so, man. So it's, simple, man. I, it's all the cliches you ever heard. Yeah. But, you know, we're stubborn, man. We're human. Yeah. That human nature, man. It ain't, you, you can't get off page one of Genesis, man. Yeah. Whether you're religious or not, I, right, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't even matter if it's literally true or not. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, when God says, Adam, why are you hiding from me? He said, because I was ashamed. And, and God says, who told you to be ashamed? Mm, yep. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. I was like, okay, this is some deep stuff. Regardless of the baggage that comes with it, you should yeah. read it and, like, and 
and and listen because when it nails you right in an arrow in your forehead and you hadn't got off page three <laughs> you know? it's like wow it's uh, something i see every bit of it is true raising kids like every single bit of it man is yeah. true yeah right yeah. kids you find out there's like no it's no mystery about it you can prove it's true just raise a kid and mm-hmm. come talk to me about it you know yeah. and yeah. uh so i you know of course try to impart these things to him and you realize i was like this how the it's, it's a metaphor to me but this is how god feels dealing with us like yeah. your kids like you know i told you a hundred times why do you think I don't know and you know better than me? Like what in your yeah, brain? Yeah. <laughs> like I hadn't been in your position before. Like I made you like, <laughs> yeah. it's just like, wow, everything that comes out of my mouth. I feel like <laughs> I'm reading the Bible. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yep. Now, and you know, I was not raised, raised in a religious household. I was right. raised very, against all that mm-hmm. and i didn't hit it till i was 40 you know yeah yeah and now i'm just like whoa maybe it's better that i came to it that way it could right. like because i proved all the things to myself living <laughs> on, yeah. in my own understanding you know and now i was like okay so all these cliches you know and thank god that happened before i had kids you know yeah. glad i had kids late Woo, if I had kids in my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I would have changed, but, man, I'm glad I waited till 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really am. Yeah. And I bet uh, I know, yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's better. Yeah. I can dig that, man. I can dig that. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I'm, I'm, my man, you know, I'm happy for you, man. That's man. That's I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I'm happy for you too, dude, man. This is it. This is it. My mom told me from the beginning, you better do something you love for work because you're gonna be doing it a lot. Yeah. So don't hate it. I don't hate my job. Yeah. You know, she always loved her work. Yeah. 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 A nurse at DC General Hospital for thirty some years and. Yeah. She was always in school, always seeing something fascinating, labor and delivery, emergency room mm-hmm. and, um, in Southeast Washington. And it just got so violent when yeah. automatic weapons and stuff came and the drugs. And she was like, all right, we got to get out of here. And they yeah. left DC, but she always loved her work. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that, that's how I am with my kids. It's like, I'm hoping by the time, they have to make this decision. We're kind of in that Star Trek world where we do have UBI and mm-hmm. people can just go on what inspires them, you know, but if whatever, yeah, I'm figuring out what my kids are into. And Nigel is interestingly into art. He's more like his mom than music. Kavi, who's not our biological child, right. plays music all the time on the piano, on really? the electronic drum set. Uh, she messed my banjo up the other day, but she was making notes. She wasn't just yanking on the strings, but she ended up moving the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but she, I think she's going to be my little musician. And um, and Nigel might too. I mean, yeah, yeah. He, but he'll do art for hours. Yeah. He'll sit there and stay focused where he'll drift away from the piano or, yeah. you know, he'll yeah. sing a lot and yeah. he loves to dance. What a choreographer. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. He's funny, dude. <laughs> he is funny, man. He's really beautiful. I love those kids. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, I, I, I still need to meet Kavi, man, but I haven't seen I haven't seen Nigel in a minute, man. Actually, I think the last time I ran into it, uh, we ran into each other in an airport, I think it was, maybe. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I don't remember where it was, but... He's big now, dude. Oh, I'm sure, man. He's I'm just, sure. you know, the, another cliche talking about how fast it goes. I went, right before I had him, when we were trying to get pregnant, mm-hmm. I said, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to try to do as little road work as possible for the first five years. 
So, you know, that, and that was a heavy thing. You know how some musicians are. You just work as much as you can. And so I took the total opposite. Like, I'm going to work as little as can. So I need to make as much as I can. I turned down all the smaller gigs yep. and only took the bigger ones. Yeah. And to get that time. And it's like, dude, he turned five last January. I was like, okay, 10 years? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, it went so fast. I thought five years was a long time. It was like, blip. Yeah, I know, man. I and know. I'm like, wow. And now, you know, Kavi's too. But mm -hmm. now this is just my mindset, period. Like, yeah. Yeah. like we were talking about before, I want more time. Yeah. I yeah. want more time. Yeah. And, I, and uh, if I make more money, okay. But either way, I'm going to get more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, either way. Yeah, that's where it's at. I mean, that's kind of, that was kind of the joke, though, for a little while before all this went down, it's like, I stopped kind of, you know, we kind of chilled out on touring and, you know, this and that. Cause I was like, gone. I was on the opposite end, man. Like, you know, I was gone a lot when Kaylin and Lila were little, man. So I, I definitely missed, missed, yeah. them, you know, most so of my friends. Did. Oh yeah, man. Exactly. So then it was like, well, you know, now, now the funny thing is now I'm off the road. I'm like in the studio a lot, but it's, you know, near home or whatever. And, now they're older, so they, you know, especially like when Caleb, like last year, his senior year at high school, I never saw that dude, man. You know, I'm like, I'm home now. You know, I'm like, hey, man, let's go. Oh, no, you know, I'm, going, I'm heading out. You know, I'm, you know, I was like, all right, well, it's kind of funny. It's like they're just doing their thing, you know, but it's all good, you know. I think it will, it'll, it'll cycle back around again. Yeah. You know, yeah. No. I mean, and you were, you were a good dad, you know. And that's yeah. uh, all of my, I look at all my friends and, and I, and I really do. I'm super conscious of how lucky I am mm -hmm. that I waited until a, a point in my career or that it even worked out yeah. at this point in my career that I could be like, no, nah, I'm going to not do that one. I'm going to not do that one. I'm going to not do most of them. It looks like. yeah, yeah. And, um, and to have this time with them, I just savor it, man. Yeah. I'm, Savor and savor and savor and savor and savor because I know there's gonna be one day where they're not gonna want to hang anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and dude, okay. it happens overnight. Trust me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it really does, man. It really does, man. But like yeah. I said, man, I'm, I mean, I'm really happy for you, man, because you got, you know, it's it's really cool when I can see like photos of you, like when you bring the fam out, you know, to shows and things like that. You know, it's like. Cause you know that that's not easy, you know, to oh, do. No. But Kavi actually just made it impossible. It, we were like, we can't travel with. She doesn't like being buckled into anything. For we yeah. took a ride down to try to go to this spot under a bridge by the beach. Yeah, and too many people there, so we just left. But we didn't even get to the beach, man. We live literally like six miles from the water. Yeah. She just. And so, you know, like we took her to Mexico with Dead and Company and mm -hmm. man, the plane ride, which is short. Oh, yeah. It was just miserable. I thought we can't fly across the country with her. Like, yeah. and we had a point like that with Nigel where we just had to say, look, we're not traveling with him for six months. He's just making it a nightmare, you know. Yeah. And Kavi's like right in there right now. So um, we it's just. Hard, it's hard with two. I mean, we took K Kalen, he's been all over Europe with us when he was like little, Japan. Yeah. But when Lila came along, dude, it, dude, I mean, and they're three years apart. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just like, it was, it's tough. So she gives us shit all the time. She's like, I'm, you know, Kalen went here and here and this. Like, like, Man. That's because you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have, let's, let's no revisit, fun. yeah, let's revisit this conversation when you have two kids. You know? Oh man, that's the only thing about like wait till fifty. I'm like, I gotta live to 120, man. <laughs> yeah. I want to see. My mom is so happy. My mom just calls up now and just starts laughing. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't yeah. even try to hide it. <laughs> just starts laughing because she thought she was gonna miss it with me and Kofi. She was yeah. like, man. Oh. and then here comes Nigel. She's like, oh yeah. <laughs> And I and I don't begrudge her, you know. Yeah, yeah. It made me a little mad at first when I was in that, you know, the initial like sleep deprivation part is like torture. Yeah. And uh it's that's hard. And I 
I, you know, I, at first I thought, this is why parents don't ever tell you what it's really like, because then you wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's not it. There, there are no words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, man. There you go. You can't explain sleep deprivation. You have to be tortured. Like, unless you were a prisoner of war or something. Yeah. You have no frame of reference to even describe it. So I just, I'm going to live till I'm 120. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. I don't care how many viruses come down. <laughs> I'm going to see Nigel have a kid. <laughs> I don't want him to rush either. He can be 30, 40, but I'm, I'm going to be around when I ain't dying until he does it. I'm going to see them first three years. I'm going to see the, the, the yeah. sleep deprivation uh -huh. begin. Yeah. And I'm going to see them terrible twos and threes and uh -huh. foes. Well, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that Well, you know, man, the, 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 you always hear about the terrible twos. Is that, well, no, it wasn't. The, it was like that lasts for like two years. It's not like the two. I'm joining man. Two, three, and four. Yeah. I was like, yeah. man. And he's like, you know, now it's. At four, and now at five, you can reason with him. Like, he yeah. knows. I'm like, I know you know, man. I know you don't know a lot, but you know enough to. Yeah. But with Kavi, it's just like, whew. And she's so willful, dude. We thought, like, part of the reason we adopted <laughs> just got to that point where she wanted another kid. She started seeing babies and was like, man, and I was like, oh, dude. And I told her, as long as one's potty trained, let's put them three years apart like my mom yeah. did. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was like, well, look, um, unless you can promise me it's a girl, we might need to revisit this adoption thing. So I can't do two with Nigel. You know? <laughs> and her twin sister yeah. has two boys. Yeah. <sighs> both, both Leos, I think, or something like that. But I mean, it's yeah, it's rough. I was like, I, I'm too old or whatever. I'm not made of the yeah. right stuff. So we had talked about adopting since the day we've met, really, mm -hmm. or got serious with each other, you know. Yeah. And then so we did it, you know. And I was like, okay, we'll get that calm girl that'll counterbalance. Dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> She's born 10 days after Jess. They're both Sagittarius. This girl's like a brigadier general. Oh, man. She has so much fire. She can scream so loud that it just like, and all fire, just fire, fire, fire. She will not be taking the orders when she grows up. Yep. She's going to be the CEO or she's going to be giving them. She's not going to be taking them. That's dope. And I told this story to a bunch of friends of mine. You know, I mean, I might as well be a giant. Like, Kavi's like, two feet tall you know yeah, 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 yeah. So i lean down over you know sometimes and we just you know no she, no. Hear. she looks up to me she's like <laughs> <laughs> straight up that's like me looking up at the jolly green jam like Shh. you know i was like this <laughs> i was like we in trouble what happens when she turns 12 years old oh dude oh we're done dude oh. we're so cooked <laughs> our gooses are cooked at least we got 10 years to get ready for it yeah yeah uh, ho hopefully it's gonna be rough bro <laughs> <laughs> she might we, <laughs> yeah it's 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 something karma that's all i can say dude karma is real yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's the truth dude that is the truth. Gonna read just what I don't care what religion. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's true. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Dude, here to tell you, boy, I deserve it, I, and it helps me. You know, like I, I look, you know, because I'm sure you same with you. Like you go, okay, this is what my mom and dad went to. Like you gotta know the sacrifice they made. You can't know unless you make it. Right. And I also get to see myself. We're completely, supposedly different, like astrologically or whatever, but dude, that kid is me. I can look mm. at it. I don't even remember a lot of my early childhood. I just know it deep in the soles of my feet. Yeah. And then I can go confirm it with my mom as she is laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> yeah. As I tell her, you yeah, because I call her, did I ever used to? <laughs> she <laughs> <laughs> 
And I'm like, yeah, all right. She goes, oh, yeah, let me tell you. And then she, oh, no, dude. Amazing what they can remember in their 80s, you know, with yeah. their failing minds. But, boy, they remember that stuff. Yeah. Like, I guess they still got the scars. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, God. It's too much, man. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to get you to start sending me the – Let's do the, the kid pic thing. Text me the pics. Cause, you know, with Jess's Instagram, I always tell people, like, how are you kids doing? I'm like, man, if a lot of my older friends on yeah. on Instagram, I'm like, it's worth getting an account just to follow Jess, just to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. these kids are cute, man. They're yeah. smart, funny, and she's a great photographer. Mm, yeah. Takes great videos, but I'd love to see – what your Dude, kids are doing and stuff, and I got off Facebook. You probably have it on there, but I'm like, yeah, I, I'm man, I actually, man, I, I like checked out of social media altogether a little while ago, man. I just like, I don't know, man. I just, you know. it's a trick. Yeah, a trick. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I pieced out, man. I just, I'm good, you know. My wife says she goes, so you need to curate yours better, you know. <laughs> She says, mine is curated to totally inspire me. And her Instagram is like that. Like, a lot of people follow her just because the adoption story and yeah. Nigel so cute and just the whole. And so she, it, she's a different generation than me, but she's like, uses it, I think, more in a, in a better way. Right. Then I, you know, mine is just for gigs and promotion. And then I do some personal stuff on there, but then I wonder, is that good or not? You know? Yeah. I mean, I think a long time ago, I decided not to, you know, put up a lot of pictures of the kid. Like I didn't want to make it personal, you know, but then yeah. like, so recently my Instagram dude, like I, I just stopped everything, but I uh, purged it. Like I just, mm -hmm. it, I had thousands and thousands of photos and videos and, you know, yeah. And I'm just like going, you have to go through one by one, just like delete, yeah. you know, I was like, there's the stuff for shows and, I, and none of it made any sense, but it felt so good getting rid of it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just like, man, and uh, Facebook, I don't really, I, yeah, whatever. I put stuff on, but I don't look at it. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, you're not in it. Nah, man. Yeah. My wife does mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does a band page. Right, uh, right, right. It's a trap. It's a trap. But, you know, I, I, someone told me recently, like, all, all these Silicon Valley people, they don't let their kids on it. So that'll tell you right there, they're the ones making this crap. Yeah. They're like, oh, no, I don't let my kids do it. It's like uh, somebody works for a, you know, a uh, cigarette company, you know. <laughs> yeah, straight up, man. Yeah. I don't let my kids smoke cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, I but uh, I I do uh, hers is hers is really it, yeah. So. No, Jess is is really amazing. You yeah. know the whole the whole adoption thing with Kavi was was and continues to be and will continue to be really deep, yeah. really deep. Yeah, it's it's another thing, you know. And uh, man, that whole process was crazy, dude. I mean, just from every once in a while when we talk, you know, like just your, I mean, that was nuts, man. Like, yeah, long and just two years, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when her teeth came in, it blew our minds because it just broke Jess's heart. She was like, you know, teething, you know, how bad that sucks. And she's yeah. like, I'm totally not there to comfort her. And yeah. And then we got a video one day and she was walking. I was like, man, I'm missing too many firsts here. Yeah. This is not cool. Aside from just missing her and wanting her to wanting to be able to take care of her. But you know, Jess still follows a lot of families that uh adopt and a lot of them are trapped over there right now with this coronavirus. Yeah, no doubt. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. Dude, it's some deep and who knows how long like it's expensive to just be stuck over there or some i we knew a lady that had uh had to go back five times i'm like who could go back five times like that's expensive you know and um yeah it was it was a trippy process and i i don't think we'll do it again right, right. <clears throat> who knows yeah 
Yeah. But I, I don't think we're going to do it again. I think we're going to stop at two kids and That's cool. have one and adopt one. And, and, um, but, um, yeah, it was, it's been, it's been really deep and eye opening for sure. Wow. And, uh, and really, really fun to see it. I get on her Instagram sometimes when really? I'm down, you know, and I, it's weird because she'll post, I'm like, wow, she posted like three days ago. And I, and I, feel good i'm like well that's good you hadn't been on it yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, or whatever like you know yeah um so yeah. but hers hers definitely is a, a different ball game you yeah. know yeah. yeah yeah but i can't wait for you to i can't wait for you to see him again like in person oh man i know i know well hopefully sooner than later yeah <laughs> i hear you man We'll see how, how this how this uh, country reacts. We'll yeah. see uh, how the government reacts and how the country reacts, and uh, we'll just have to hope for the best, man. You know, yeah. right now <clears throat> I'm having a great time. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. I um, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. I, I, this is uh, it is what it is. Yeah, so let's yeah. make it good. Exactly. You know? <laughs> no, man. I think my laptop is going to shut off. It gave me a gave warning you the... that my battery. All right. I got 9%. Yeah, but... man. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. It's cool. Well, shit, man. You know where to find me, man. Absolutely, dude. <laughs> so good. So good to reconnect. But it's, yeah. this is another good thing. Like, maybe everybody in these pause, pauses are really going to, like, reconnect like this and then uh you know shift our uh our frequency shift our vibration oh, into that man. positive staying in that positive thing you know man. exactly exactly <laughs> please tell kim i said hey man she's one of the man. best yeah she's one of the best man. too right on, <laughs> well give everyone a big hug and a kiss for me man absolutely do love you man yeah, love you too man hey man reach out to you know man Definitely reach out, talk to Neil, dude. This, oh, right. Yo, yeah. he's got some stuff for you, dude. <laughs> yo, I know. He's got some stuff we, for you. I know. We need it right now. He was saying it. He's been saying it. Dude, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been saying it for like a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Here we are, you yeah. know? So, like, yeah, I'm going to, man. I'm right. going to. Word. Love you, man. Love you too, man. You have a good one. All right, man. You too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Thanks.